Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do Tech Cody stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Uh, I'm just here to explain code and leak code and hack rank solutions. And uh, here, this one is a very similar one to what we did uh, in Number of Islands. So I just want to go over this briefly. The only, there's just a twist on it. Uh, surrounded regions, medium. Uh, given a 2D board uh, containing X's and O's. So we're given a 2D grid, 2D array containing X's and O's. Uh, capture all regions surrounded by X. So it, you might think a number of islands, like we had to find, you know, we had to do is a DFS to explore a full island, right? And it was like zeros trapped in a bunch of ones. This is O's trapped in a bunch of X's. So it's a very similar approach. Uh, we're basically going to capture these regions. So a region is a little group of O's surrounded completely by X's. So you can see this region of three is going to be captured and capture is turning all of those O's into X's. So you take the region and it uh, essentially just gets turned into X's. So you can see this is the before, uh, this is the before little section up here. And then this is after where those three O's get turned into X's. So that whole region gets captured. You will notice that this O does not get captured because it is on a boundary and by uh, boundary, you, you there's no X down here. So it's not fully surrounded. So anything, any O that lies on the first column, the last column, the first row, the last row, these are boundaries. They don't have X's fully surrounding them, so those do not get captured. Those don't get turned into uh, X's as well. So basically uh, what we have to do, and also you will note that uh, anything connected to those O's that lie on these boundaries they don't get turned to X's either because those are part of the regions that lie on the boundary. So this is a region that lies on the boundary line and it's not fully surrounded by X's. But if this was also an O, that's part of that region since it's connected. So that doesn't get turned to X's. So how do we, how do we turn all these O's to X's except for the regions that lie on the boundaries? Um, well, basically what we're going to do is a DFS where we pat, we're going to search these boundaries. We're going to search the first row, the last row, the first column, the last column. And if we find an O that lies on the boundary, we're going to do a depth first search and fully explore that region. And we're going to set those O's in that region to a special character. And once we set these to a special character, we can safely loop through and turn all the other O's into X's and capture everything else because we can just look, oh, is it a no? We'll just capture it. Uh, but everything that's after we turn all of these, you know, safe regions that we won't want to capture into a uh, special character. So basically we're going to, you know, we'll get the rows and columns of the 2D board. Uh, I have this code out here because typing it would just take too long and I don't want to, you know, make the video so long. Uh, so we just have these rows and columns out here. We're going to loop through the rows. So we're going to be going, you know, row, 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 row. But we're not looking at every column. We're looking row, 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 row. Not every column. We're only looking at the first and last column, right? So if there's an O on the first and last column, meaning it lies on a boundary, we call that DFS and we explore that whole region that we find and we can we turn them all into little special characters, right? Basic DFS, right? Uh, basic DFS where you check the boundaries of the you we look we look we find the uh, the index of the O that lies on the boundary we pass in the board the char grid and we pass in you know the index we found it at right um, so we pass in the index we found it at and then we explore all of the you know if it was here we would explore to the right to the above to the bottom and we do that to expand it, the whole region to the fullest. Uh, you just have to do a check if you, there's an O above it, if there's an O to the right of it, if there's an O to the bottom left, you just got to check the boundaries, check for those O's, and you expand the whole thing. Uh, you turn it all to stars. Once everything that is safe, if you, when, and then we look through the columns as well, right, column by column, but we don't look at every index. We only look at the top row and the bottom row, like zero row and row minus one row. So uh, that's pretty much it. You turn them all into stars. So once all of those boundary safe regions are stars, we could safely traverse the full array, the entire grid. So this now, in this loop, we're going index by index. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this. And then all of those O's that are not stars now, we will capture, we'll turn them to X's. But those stars, we will just turn right back into O's because those were supposed to stay O's. So we turn them into stars so that we can safely traverse and turn all O's to X's. But we then take the stars and we turn them back into O's and everything's safe. 
that's pretty much the explanation. I tried to do this video a few times where I actually coded it out on the fly, but I'm not like an expert at typing and I don't wanna make you guys sit here and watch me type very slowly for too long. So I'm sure that people just watch these to get, you know, they're struggling and they want this explained so that it makes more sense. Uh, this is a depth first search where you're doing a little bit of pre-processing before you can actually go and just turn every O into an X. Uh, so the pre-processing is just exploring any of those regions on the boundaries fully, turning them into stars. Then you go and do what you wanted to do originally, capture all the O's, and you just turn those safe ones, those stars, back into O's. Thank you for watching. Please uh, leave a like on this video so that my channel will grow. In the other ones, I usually code. I actually usually code these on the fly. Uh, pretty much 99% of my videos I'll be coding. This one is just, you, know, you can see it's quite a bit of code. And uh, I don't want to make you sit here for 20 minutes. All right. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, you know, like and subscribe and have a nice day. See you in the next one. All right. See ya. Peace. Oh, yeah. Wait. Shout out to uh, this person, by the way. This is where the solution came from. This is cl this is a clever solution. So I like this. There's other ways to do this. BFS um, and stuff. This shout out to this person. There's a bunch. There's a union find way. This is looks interesting, but uh, seems this is very similar to number of islands, like almost the same problem. So this is the approach we take in number of islands. A very common approach, most common approach. I like this little twist on it though, the clever twist of star back to the O. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. All right, see you in the next video. Peace. Oops.